all right so let's continue and now we're going to work on the other half of our project of our store which includes the books that we're going to display right over here so the design looks like this and before we proceed on to the coding part let's just take a step back and break it down so that we have a direction to approach this thing so firstly we're going to have a component called something like books as it will contain all the books then within this we're going to have individual components for the books that we have these books and i guess we can call it book card or maybe book item i think item makes more sense for the individual book now the other thing is that as oops what did i do anyway so the other thing is that as you can see that we have a sort of like a layout a grid layout going on uh, like three books per row so for this we will be using another component from the library so firstly let's head back now within the components directory let's create another directory called books within which let's create index.js so let's create the component called books let's move react and let's create it so firstly over here we will be wrapping the entire thing inside of a component from the library called container so this will give it uh, some breathing speed space on either side on the x-axis and within this we will be placing in the grid component of type container by passing it as a prop so when we pass the container prop it automatically makes it container like a grid container speak for itself so the container divides the available space into 12 columns by default and we will be making use of him so within the container let's add in the grid item by the way uh, later we will be shifting this thing into a component of its own but right now in order to kind of um, easily understand it it's better to place it right like right over here but later we're gonna kind of push it to a component of its own anyway so now within the grid item but before that we need to specify the number of columns we want this item to take so as there are 12 by default and we want three on each row which means 12 by 3 that's four so we want this to take four columns on specified breakpoint so the smallest breakpoint is the excess and it means that this grid item will take four columns on all the breakpoints and on the excess like all the above breakpoints as well as on the excess is going to take four columns unless we specify something else like we that we will do obviously once we kind of make this thing responsive but we're going to do that in the end right now the thing to understand is that this grid item is going to take four columns that means four grid items on each row so now let's uh, take a look at the structure over here no oh, one second all right so we can divide it into two parts on the left side we have the image and this shape which i very uh kind of passionately added at the time of designing the ui but now that i think of it anyway we, we will be able to pull it off doesn't matter and then on the right side we have the content which includes the title the genre the the stars and the add to cart button or the counter like the quantity counter if the item is already added in the cart so that's that let's do it heading back to the editor oops over here so within the grid item let's place in the stack which will wrap the entire thing both the sides which means let's also change the direction from column which is default to be of row and within this we can place the two stack components for either side so within the first one we have to place this image and the shape but the thing is but the thing is that this image is sort of like above on this shape let's do one thing let's first place in the image but the thing is that the image the size of it 
has to be the same for each book obviously and regardless the resolution that's the thing so for this thing instead of using the image tag i suppose we can use the css background url because we can just do background size to be of cover which automatically stretches the image to be taking the the available space so yeah let's do that and let's let me just head back over here and this is the image let me just copy it to the clipboard let's head back over here <clears throat> and now let's use a stack component but a self-closing because we don't want to place anything inside of it but we just want to use it, use it as an element which has the background image so let's use the sx because we will also be using the background size which is not available on stack <clears throat> the stack component so over here let's place let's use the background which would be url in brackets let's add in the image url and let's do the background size to be of cover and on the stack component we have to specify the width and height and that's the reason why we are using the css background image because we want the width and height to be consistent so it is 84 let's round it round it to 85 and 125 85 and 125 let's go with that so width as a prop <clears throat> width to be of 85 and the height to be of 125 so let's actually save it and import it right over here in the home page below the top bar i hope the auto import works it is not working <coughs> sorry about that uh, it's not working one second oh there it is perfect all right so now if i save it let's head back stack is not defined obviously forgot to import it let's do that and now let's see so there we have the image perfect we need to fix a few things firstly as you can see the grid container it's starting from like there's a lot of space on the left side so the thing is that the container not sorry not the grid container i accidentally like mistakenly said grid container but it's the container so the container is used to add some breathing space on like either side and it takes a maximum width prop so to this we can specify what's the maximum width and it's gonna like it's gonna add in the constraint by default it is lg which is large like if i save it right now we won't notice any difference but for this case let's go with xl which is one level above the lg and that's looking much better now we also need to have some space between the top bar that we have over here and the container so i remember that the top bar component uh, we use the stack so over here we can just add margin bottom of about 10 which would be 80 pixels and that's perfect that's much better all right so now let's continue let's add some border radius border radius to be of one which would be eight pixels let's actually go with two and that's looking much better let's also add the box shadow and for that let me just copy the value <coughs> one second uh, so i'm back i don't know why sometimes the hotkeys just stop working anyway so now we need to have the box shadow so for that let me actually copy the values because it's an image 3.4 2.7 you don't have to do that 3.4 oops 2.7 mm, okay ah that's is that the one it's looking a bit odd 
anyway now let's head back to the editor and over here in the sx let's add box shadow to be of this value and if we do that you can pause the video you can pause the video one second sorry i guess you have already done that and just enter the same value sometimes i kind of speed up the entire thing anyway so that's looking good that's actually looking good and now we just need to work on the the shape which is behind of it and also uh the image like the book cover goes above it hmm so for this let's actually get the color code first you can pause the video and get the same f3 e e f0 that's the one okay so for this i actually need to think <clears throat> okay so i guess what we can do is if we give it the background color of this obviously it's not visible because it's like the image is above it so let's give some padding of about three mm -hmm, that's good let's also give some border radius of about two let's see that's looking good now we need to move the image above it so for that one second i just need to check something anyway so for that uh let's do one thing uh uh, uh let's what if we change the position to be of absolute well actually we don't need the absolute we can use relative and the same thing over here if we do that we wouldn't notice anything obviously but now what uh, actually we don't even need to have the <laughs> relative on the parent just the element would work fine like just for the element it would it would work fine and on the top we can just kind of take it upside so for that let's <clears throat> so the height is 125 let's do minus 30 and let's see hmm that's not looking good i guess because of the padding that we are adding padding that we are adding it's padding of 24 pixels all the sides so why all the sides just on the x-axis we don't want on top and bottom and that's looking much better i believe uh, let's reduce the padding to be of 2.5 let's see okay how about top of 25 let's check the design it's not matching the same thing let's actually do with 30 and adding on either side of z oh no 20 how does it look uh shit how about 2 2.5 how about 3 because in that case i'm sorry I'm sorry you you must be thinking like let this do finish and then I'm gonna do the same thing uh, okay I think that would work I guess I think that would work not exactly the same which is actually bothering me but it is what it is <laughs> anyway so let me increase this thing as well as uh, let me just do this i think that's much better okay so 
yeah that would work this means that the left side of the book item is done let's work on the right side which includes the title the genre and the star let's get to it right over here in this one let's add in typography the first first thing typography why is it not auto importing okay <clears throat> and the variant of h6 the alchemist it's an amazing book by the way alchemist and the journal let's go with the default which is body one and the journal of the quest like journal of quest and star for which we need to import the star icon and for that let's actually do it over here star icon i don't know if the name of it is goes by star but let's see star yeah that's what it is okay <laughs> cool and over here we need the star as well as the numeric value which we are gonna get so for that uh, let's add in the stack let's change the direction to be of row place in the icon and next to it five and let's also change the color of so in case you are having some trouble kind of following this video then in that case maybe you should follow like for the next 10 seconds and then pause the video and do the same thing i guess that would be a bit better for you to follow up so if we do the color thing in such a way let's actually check it out i want to see how does it look so far hmm, looks pretty good honestly but we need to fix a few things firstly uh the h6 how about we go with h5 that's looking much better the other thing the genre quest uh because the default font that we have set is play fair display the one that we added over here in the theme but in this case let's change the font family to be lato how about that looking bit better a bit better and also what do we call it the uh, uh, is it it's font style right it's taking forever okay yeah it's font style to be of italic <clears throat> and let's see all right i would say that would work and let's actually do one thing for the genre we will be changing the variant to be of body 2 and i know that you must be thinking this dude cannot make up his mind but again this is live recording although it's by the time you watch it it's pre-recorded but i'm recording it right now as we build it all right so i think that works that's better and we just need to have some spacing between them and actually the same font for this thing so i would copy the same font family let's also throw in a sans serif just to be on the safe side and let's add it over here let me check the console <clears throat> just to see we are like we do not have any errors mm, uh, no we don't okay let it load okay so now let's add the spacing let's do that over here the the the, con the stack which is wrapping these two stacks over here we can just pass in the spacing prop with the value of four which is too much how about three yeah i think three would work and let's also add some spacing over here so uh right over here we have the stack let's add in the spacing same way of about which is too much i guess yeah i guessed right let's go with one i think that's much better so for the button part let's actually do that in the next video 
because I believe it's already getting too long, like too lengthy. So yeah, see you in the next one. And things are actually looking pretty good. They are turning out to be great. All right, so see you in the next one. Thank you. Oops, again. <laughs> As you can see, the hotkey didn't work, and I do not have it. Like I'm, I'm like I don't have a video editor, so. <laughs>